burning, we're burning hydrogen. He had trouble with this one customer. The guy was being kind of an egghead or whatever, and, and they got mad. He, he broke whatever the guy wanted, just, just to spite him. I always wondered what it was. I always drive by and go, what is that? Then I, if you want, we can go there first and then dig. Yes. Go follow me. I can gawk. Yeah. We don't need to go very fast. <clears throat> I'm really not going that fast. You're just going slow. He's going fast. What's that smell? Hey, Bob. I don't see any porta bodies in here. I wish they'd have them on each end so you wouldn't have to walk all the way cheap. But they have them there because that's where the main, uh, where you go sign up for spots and run, run, run and they sit over there. That's the parking lot. I know I'm going to come to the park and I'm come to this way. I was wrong. This, they, they didn't move. It was never on that side. It was always this side. I got turned around with the building. Looks like a space helmet. <laughs> it's a all sky camera. They got Max here too. Probably a cheese. The cheese graters. They're probably uh Cavity filters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably uh, yeah, it's like them. about. We used to work in high bays over at uh, space. Not this space. It's like about 800 megahertz. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, that's the trick. Really weird. I saw an F-16. They cut the wings off. Uh, and they cut the tail off. And they stuck the whole thing in a container. Stuff goes in the container. Yeah, the door was needed. Yeah, I know. Pretty good brand. Yeah, like everything else. Whenever I'm afraid I just have the other, I have no clue. You're looking for your antenna stuff? Might find stuff here. Oh, things to think about. The probe, stuff for the probe. If you find stuff here that we could use, let me know. I'll get it. Also, Uh, battery for like a camera, battery to run the, the, the 
electronics. Oh yeah, it's all there. It just doesn't have the, the camera. Yeah, the the Novite one is for charging. Oh, it's for charging? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought they charged from the same connection. Oh. But uh, a standard HD camera usually is about 50 bucks, 40 yeah. to 50. But there is, you just have to figure out which HD, because there's AHD, CDI, TDI. Oh, yeah. There's three different types. Wow. Okay. So that's kind of like, uh, like for example, Night Owl. Uh, they still are 50? Yeah. Okay. He has yeah. computers already. Dual Xeons. I have the older ones, which are the Core Dual Xeon. Oh, okay. Zero two? Uh, dual uh, Xeon processor. What are they Computer for 200 bucks. Those, those are 30. He says 30? in the shop. 30 are yours? Yeah. How much is it? Uh, I find? 80. What's inside? Uh, 4 gig and uh, some hard drive? That's what I was talking about. Uh, I was getting their information. He, 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 he told me the website. So. So if we get that, okay. that will give us a computer yeah, they're for your video editing. Dual Xeon? It's nice. Yeah, only if it has... Uh, well, we can call and ask. Uh, only if it has SATA. It has to have SATA. Look at this. Well, it has to be real busy. What about it? A grid-tied inverter. I'd like to see the Probably inside of that. Bucks. Those are for putting power back into the uh, mains. Yeah, I know what it is. Yeah, I saw them. <coughs> See, if he would have had one of those computers,
used here, I can buy it. That's a decent price, 200 for a dual Xeon. It, it has, has to have SATA. SATA. If it has SATA, yes, I agree. You can always put SATA in it. As long as it's a uh, No, you can't because head. if it doesn't have SATA, it doesn't have PCI. We can always ask and find out. If it does, it does. There's a keeper. that I like except the inverter. Right. Well, I told you that some things will be interesting, some things will be just junky. They so get missed. There's, there's sometimes people are here with things that you don't see them ever again. Look at those guys in the mirror there. Huh? What? See, see those guys? Okay. 
Well, we'll, we'll swing by again later if it's oh, still okay. here. Thanks. No, 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 no. These look like they'll fit what's oh, the on there. Yeah. Okay. I just want you to look at them. You know, you know it better than I do. Sorry, but what I saw may not even work. I don't know. You have to look at it. the same thing. Side extra, this music. Oh, extra propellers, yeah. yeah. This is yeah. charger for the for the battery. It's for the what? For the battery, for the charger for the battery. Oh, the battery. 
Yeah, the charger for the battery. I get yeah. It. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's his flight time? Does it say? Probably about five minutes. It's probably longer than that. You can always put better stuff in there. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's really hard for me to do. Can you do 40? 10 dollars left. 30. 3 0. 30? Yeah. What do you think? 30? Yeah, if you have the money, yeah. yeah. Do you know if it says anything? Uh, is that the instructions? Yeah, instruction. I just want to see flight time. I'm really interested. I only need a couple of yeah, yeah, four bars for that. I know it takes batteries. Everything takes batteries in the remote control. Where is the... I'm trying to find the spot where it talks about flight time. Yeah. 30 bucks isn't bad to draw. You have to see it fly. All right. All right. Thanks for the. Let me know. Okay. I'll think about it. I'll come back later. Okay. Okay. If it's still here. It's been used. I know. The batteries could be bad. I see something familiar. Oh, yeah. Probably a spare antenna. Okay. You already go over here? You already go over there? No. Yeah. Yeah. Remember those packages of LEDs yeah. and stuff? This is how I got them. Ten on capacitors. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. These are nice. Look at these. Look at these. These are MOSFETs. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Mike, how much is this one? That one? We got the box. We got the box. Yeah, I see all those are gone. Those are going to be interesting. Yeah. It's a power supply. It's a little switcher. That one, 75. It's a little switcher. Cool. It may need uh, inductors and capacitors, I'm not sure. Yes. are nice capacitors. I need an ESR meter to check on those. Uh, how much are these? Which one? Eight. Eight. Uh, I got the used one down there, it's cheaper. Uh, okay, I have a Should have brought the ESR meter. For what? Because it would probably take 15 minutes to, to charge it up. <laughs> yeah. Grab back there. Got all the capacitors over here. I know. I think we got tons of everything over there. Oh, I left my barrier. Yeah. yeah. 1500 watt. Remember that, one I, remember that one I used to have? It had three and one, it was a stack. Yeah, three phase. Yeah, great. Oh, 
12 volts at 3 amps. That's a nice little compact car. I, I, wish I, I wish I had, it was a bonding machine. You know what that is? A bonder. A bond, chip yeah, bonder. Magnus from you at one time when you had a whole bunch of them. We don't have too many today. He didn't yeah. bring them. Yeah. But, uh, we do have uh, some. Uh, you know, a bunch of different sizes, ones with holes in it, square ones, round ones. You yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. No, it's all right. I don't think we have. I've we got some monster ones here if you're interested. If I can. Not today, but okay. thank you. Uh, right. th th yeah, it's cool. Thank you. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, I know. I saw that too. It was on the ground? Is that, is that, it's a Oh, yeah, it's a clock. Oh, there you go. It's rich. It up. Nice. Don't go too far because we got to go down the aisle. Okay. We didn't go down yet. Okay. Oh, I got this. It's 24 volts, 14 points. Six amps. Wow. It, it, it's what my machine uses. Yeah. So I want to have a spare. And it was only $15. It was cheap. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. Sort of need a bag to carry something, huh? Yeah, I usually carry a bag. I don't think to buy too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then a transistor driving that. But what I did was, like, 120 plus 15 a month. How do you make it work in Wi-Fi, though? Uh, got a program. No, it's already Wi-Fi, but uh, your Wi-Fi signal better be strong, you know? Like, you don't want your Wi-Fi to be two rooms away, you know? Where am I? 33. Better to wire it in. He sells all of the uh, like the electronic project kit stuff. Uh -huh. That's pretty, that's pretty good. He's the one I got the the mask. If you have one, you want one? No. Hundred milliwatt, twenty bucks. The fifty milliwatts, fifteen dollars. Oh, he changed his prices a little bit. He, he could, he's got the blue violet UV ones. Yeah, a violet, a high power violet would be useful. Twenty two bucks, hundred milliwatts. Use it to find uh, contamination. And where is it? He's the one I got the little uh, thing for Tim that he can't find all of a sudden. There's a little, there's a little, uh, like the little, um, the logic analyzer. I bought, I bought one from him for Tim, and Tim lost it. He don't know where he put it. He didn't lose it, but he just can't find it. The ones we got before. They were 
like a gimbal to me. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's a small one. What do you think? Just on 40. Yeah, that was 4K. That probably worked better That's for what you need, right? Well, no, but... That was the only one no 4K I did. I'm not sure. I think it's rotated all the way around the wrong way. Yeah, it's... Yeah, just leave it on the 4K. We want 75 for everything. There's two drones. There's, uh, two drones and extra parts. And these are uh, spare batteries. It's got two spare motors. Yeah. And there's spare motors in here. Two spare motors. And uh, controllers. These are the motors. Two motors. Yeah. Two spare motors. Each one. This is spare batteries. Propellers. Extra propellers. We'll, we'll come back around. We we're, we're just checking out the other stuff. Uh -huh. I'm not spending too much money today, but we'll well, check it out. You know, these are online. This brand is like yeah. 50 bucks each. We're just this right here. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh -huh. The Lego uh, uh, Walker, Star Wars Walker.
so it really it really screwed things up. How are you doing? I don't know that it's going to come back. And uh, I know there's some kind of big sport, but anything that I'm doing. Muchas veces cuando estamos haciendo la reparación, las piezas terminan con grietas. Simplemente a veces queremos That's better than the one I got. I do have a logical mechanism, though. I kind of have a logical one. It's got a nice camera. Scope or telescope kind of stuff. Oh, telescope. But I have pretty, pretty well on the back of the truck. It's got a telescope. So I have a pretty key. They can be uh, flashed. Yes. You can make uh, firewalls out of them and stuff like that. Bridges. Right there, 109? Uh, yes. Yeah. HP. You know how old? Year, two know. year, five year? I don't know. So, my name, I can't remember that. Well, it has Windows 7, so it's not too bad. That's nice. It's an i7, M640, 2.8 gigahertz, 4 gigs, 250 gigabyte hard drive for like 
for like a shop or something. This would be perfect. Uh, for, you know, something simple. What do you think? I know the Lenovo is better. Yeah. Well, I've used HP. I, I, uh, the Asus is actually better. The reason why it's better is because of this. This is a See this? Yeah, I know. I know. Here's, a, here's one, a Lebono. Um, this one's 129. Here's an i3. Yeah, this is an i5 here. Yeah, that one's better than that one as far as the processor goes. But this one has an i7 in it, which is nice. Well, I don't like the... Uh... I don't care. I don't even use that. I use a mouse. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I think all sorts of cool stuff here. Is that a Mac? Yep, that's a Mac. It's an i7 too. Hmm. Now they're selling those here. The really old guys sell most of the time. So yeah, that's okay. No, it would have been just nice. So they're going to be here all day, right? No, we have until 11. So we got like 8.31, so we got time to walk around. And then right before 11, they just start packing up. It's still early. That's why I wanted to get leave early so we can get down here and have plenty of time. Look at that antenna. <laughs> it looks like something we from the sideline. Five for a dollar. Find your clips. You that's, get some? that's way too expensive. I'll check it. I think 71. These guys have some uh, panel mount stuff. All these connectors. This is where I got my connectors from. For the BNC stuff to the. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a bunch of these. Yeah. Yeah, but that's where I, this is where I got mine. Oh, no, that I saw. Right. But I need, like, just the start uh, recording. So there was a lot of time, like uh, three, four, five, sometimes ten seconds in between.
a color like this one, so it can look a little bit lighter. Ah. Okay. This Wilson's close enough, you're not going to have a problem in, in the basin area here. Of course, I probably Sorry about the box, but messed up the pronunciation, but I don't care. It was in my storage locker, and I got tripods over here. I went to pull it, and yeah, the box didn't hold up well. <laughs> it was stuck behind another item. Some trade shop or some talk music put a mesh over their stuff because it's yeah. a shame you have to do that. Yeah. 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 Right. 
Probably for like long milling, doing a long milling. You drill a hole, uh -huh. just a little underside. Right, and then that. Then you put this. Oh, in, it's a finishing. It's bit. a finishing. It, oh, makes, okay. it gets it an accurate size and a smoother finish. I'm, so, I'm still learning. Yeah. <laughs> so reamers are just to finish off the hole. So, are, are these all? Are these all reamers? Thanks for uh, the info. Yeah, I have a hobby machine, so I don't really know everything yet. How much for this? That's $40. Huh. for like $22 sometimes it's the surface they can fix that if it's in working order and this is USB so there's a port here somewhere probably where my hand is there's a spot on here where you can put oh here it is there's something rattling yeah the USB looks like it's busted maybe you send it in you might be able to get it fixed but it might cost a lot I had mine sent in oh 108 uh, 100 $120 just to mail it to them. Damn. So how much you guys asking for this old guy? $20. That's, that's really old. Yeah, I, have, I have one, but it doesn't have all this. It has a broken button because someone dropped a flashlight on it. Could use that as a prop in a movie for about about the eighties. Yeah. Now when we get towards the end, the vendor's in the same spot. That's the one I got those those uh, 3D mice from. They have a lot of interesting stuff. Some old, some new, mostly old. Circuit. 
Windows XP activated. The fan is open, right? The back door is open, right? You want the 465, that's the one you want. Oh, okay. See, you're useful for something. You know these things inside now. You have the inside view. I bought stuff from them and everything I've ever bought. See, look, it looks just like the one I got. Let's see how much they're selling it so I can price mine. So I have this exact same one. Same. No, no. It's got the other tanks, but now we could actually It looks like it, but it's close to the When I used to go to the swap meet with Eric and Christina, she used to make fun of both of us. My pile! Don't touch my pile! <laughs> she's so funny. She does it all the time. She did it to tease us. What does that oh, mean? Oh, wow. Yeah, I think Xeon quad cores. This is what I use at work. These are nice. Yeah. Exact same thing I use at work. They're really good. You better count your wheels before you leave. Did you see the paper somewhere in the park? Another quad core there. So you can turn around and see the These are workstations. Showing you. Mm. Two terabyte hard drive. Has a Quadro 200. Oh no, a Quadro 2000. Nice. This has got a, another Quadro K200. Those have the K200, that's the 2000. The K200, I think, is a little bit newer. Mm. All that's the part that has it. Oh, that's just the that's the cup. They want a little too much. <laughs> Stuff we use at my work. <laughs> 15 years old stuff. Very good size. Yeah, I That looks just like the one I have at home. Yeah, that's yeah. this See, one down here. See the, this one? Yeah. It's just like the one I have at home. That's sitting in the kitchen. That one. <laughs> well, which one are you talking about? I used to have one of these, but uh, the guy that I, Mike, remember Mike Goble? He stole lower. mine. The one okay. in the lower right, I used to use stacks of them. Yeah. Have you, you all set up. Yeah, have one of these. Hughes. And Mr. Mike Doble stole it. Bad. I sold it to someone else. He used to use stacks of these at Hughes. Mm -hmm. Ah, T and M. Quite a collection. I got all the accessories for a GoPro right here. This is not GoPro. Whatever it is. <laughs> he he he's an expert in scopes. He used to work on them. So he can tell you what it is. Yeah, this was all brand new accessories. I think it was a What are these? Are these filters? Looks like an yeah, amplifier. These are 7,000 plug-in. 7,000s. 
25 each, four it's for all eight. Seven. Yeah, but you have to have the scope. No good without the scope. Yeah, some people do. When, when I bring the scopes out, how come you don't buy them? <laughs> <laughs> good one. I worked for Tektronics. I repaired these. I'm an sorry. expert in these. I'm sorry about that. I'm an expert at these. Yeah, I know. I sold stuff to Dan Andrews, who's an ex Tektronics guy. He bought all my 500 series stuff this morning. The uh, the 7000 series was excellent. I got a bunch of 5000 series stuff too, but they were kind of a niche. How many people buy those? It's uh, lower priced. Doesn't have the performance the 7000s have. The the, uh, the drawers are larger. Yeah, I got a few hundred of these. Shit. Well, I'm the expert. I know how to repair them. Well, they unfortunately they don't bring much money anymore. The problem with them is everything's custom. The chips, I mean, the quality is real good, and most of it would probably still work. They, I was the expert at this. The differential amplifier. Uh, Hughes Space Division used to send these to me personally because I was the best in the whole system that repaired these. Because they would burn, they would scorch the hell out of them. Primary Standards North America used to uh, used to do their calibration. I remember. Uh, Three dollars. These are used to calibrate uh, finals. <laughs> you could actually adapt this to a newer scope. That's all it needs is power. This is just an amplifier, so you could just put plus and minus 12 volts on it and it'd work. I almost bought a, a calibrator online uh, on eBay, uh, 067 0587-10. And they, it would work in the 7000 series, and they also modified it for the 11000 series. But they were third parties. That, they were people, third, third parties that made 7000 drawers. I had first standards on my, on my bench, National Bureau of Standards. Yeah, I can't afford it. It doesn't make sense, so I farm all my stuff out now. I don't have any stuff certified. Well, this stuff... This stuff is really hard to repair without the original parts, especially if something mechanical goes wrong. These pots are, are all custom. I know, when I, when I have an order for one of these things, I end up sending in like three or four of each of these uh, model numbers to get one good one. They use all burrows, multi-turns, real good stuff. The, what made everything so expensive is that every component Every resistor, capacitor, everything is tested before it's it's installed. Give me some brushes. Feel that? No thanks. It's not as, it's not as uh, rough as the other ones that they use. <laughs> now, one thing I would like to have uh, is a detector. Let's see. Do you have any detectors? You can see what I got left in there. Yeah, when I come here, I bring all the fives and ones I can, I can find, and by the end of the day, I never have to get that. Okay, perfect. Um, Maybe it would help if I bought another one. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I get those fives back. Do you have a crystal <laughs> detector? Uh, I don't think you're yeah, I don't think so. That's probably been picked over. Okay. Uh, I got them at my website, but they're not swap me price and going to be a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. HP 423Bs. Yeah, the, the, the big ones. Yeah, yeah. I got them. I They're got really them. nice. But you got to buy them from my company and they'll cost you real money. Yeah. Yeah, you want to see a few thousand Tektronix pieces, go to testequipmentvalue.com. Well, I could probably get a job at one of those companies refurbishing these things. Because I do know how to do it. Where do you live? Santa Maria. Let's <laughs> see who's up there. McGowan just closed. Liberty Test bought his lab. That's Roseville. Uh, yeah, you know. The 
market for technicians is pretty good again. A few years yeah. ago, it was awful. Well, this was this was in 1977. I was doing this. That's how old these are. I know exactly. This thing right here, if if you want to do sharp wave calibration for for building amplifiers, this thing will will do everything you want to get get everything tweaked in just right. A 20 megahertz bandwidth, real flat from DC to 20 megahertz differential input. So you can you can put the plus and minus in, uh, inputs on the right on the antenna, and you can you can tweak it in so that there's no um, spurious emissions. That's what this is for. So when Hughes would send me these to repair. The, RF had, go, had gone all the way through them, just shh, just burned out everything. I'm trying to find a church to take the Mosella. My car was broken down. surplus chips to make those. Oh. These are nice when you have the whole yeah. set up. Yeah. I couldn't believe all those 7,000 drawers. It's a nice circuit board. What do you think? It's 30 bucks. It's all solid it's metal. It's never going to wear out practically. That, there you go. See, now he can get out. That, uh, that one drawer I was talking to him about, that, that, that differential amplifier, 
all you need to do is add uh, plus and minus voltage to the to the input, and it'll work. Yeah. Okay. Listen. Listen. The amplifier. Differential I input. I can hear you and walk and look at things at the same time. Differential input. Yes. DC to 20 megahertz. The one you're borrowing from me, I can. Not borrowing that. No. You need one of these? No. That's the place where they have the LEDs. Yeah. hundred bucks. For the i5. The other one is uh, It's starting to get warm. I know. Now you know why I want to come out. They got tons of LEDs over here, by the way. Connectors, audio connectors, uh, all sorts of stuff. They have the... Uh, the, the large uh, eighth inch jacks, cables, all sorts of stuff. I even bought a meter from them. It works really well. I use it for just general ballpark vision decisions. I use my eighty dollar meter so one of those drawers he had there, I could put it on the, uh, the spectrum analyzer, and it would give it a high impedance amplifier. Yeah. Yeah. Because the problem with the problem with the, um, the spectrum analyzer is 50 ohms in. You know, you can't use a probe. You have to have an amplifier in front of it. Right. And one of those drawers could do that. How much did you ask? I didn't ask. Why not? I think you said something like $25. Well, if it was worth getting, I can get it. I'd have to, I'd have to figure out which one to buy, though. I'll figure that out. I'm willing to help you out. I know what the hell it is. This is the guy that has all the connectors and stuff. He might have one of them. Handle mount. I have a, a box of about 50 of those. You do? You have a panel the mount? The stereo you have and the panel, the, and the panel the mount. I need what the do you panel mount. The socket? The socket, that's panel mount. Yeah, I have a, a shitload of those too. You didn't you have, ask. You have them readily available? Can we find them really well? Yeah. I want to go back over there and look at the drawers. This is, this is kind of, you have these, right? That's what I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna grab a couple just in case. Yeah. They're not that expensive. 
I'm going to go back over and look at the drawers. I'll grab four and I'll do that way. Okay, go ahead. Call me, when, call me and tell me where you want to meet. I don't know. Thousand drawers. Mm -hmm. I have a few of these uh, frames at home. You have the mainframe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this is what you want right here to do shortwave. If you want to make shortwave circuits, this is the one you need right here. Oh. I bought I bought the frames just because uh, I want to keep it. I want to keep my main one still running. The advantage, most of these, all they need is power. Mm -hmm. You can use them for front ends for other stuff. Right. You just apply good power to them, especially these amplifiers. This is the one I'd like to have, but I need a, I need a, uh, a one gigahertz amplifier for my spectrum analyzer. Seven, I used to work for Tektronix, so I know. Oh, cool. I would, I would, make great hope, great I repaired this stuff. I was a T and M. So if, if, if something of mine breaks, I can I can sit there and contact you. <laughs> no, you contact him. Contact him. <laughs> right, right here. <laughs> if yours breaks, toss it out. Buy one of these. I hate tossing out stuff. <laughs> no, you don't toss these out. You you, you hand these down mm -hmm. because even even if they don't work, they they can always be repaired. Mm -hmm. You can send these back to Tektronix and they will repair them. Really? Still? Yes. Wow. You won't want to pay it. But, but I mean, it'll be top dollar, but it'll work. Right. 25 each? Or four for 80. Well, today I'll just try this one, I guess. Yeah, this is really hard to repair. Mm -hmm. 
that, this is my specialty, this guy right here. Which one you get? This thing does amazing shit. 7826? Mm -hmm. it's, it's balanced input, so you can get plus and minus without the ground. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can measure stuff that has a, a very high common mode voltage, like DC on a, on a final. Oh! It's DC to 20 megahertz. Flat within one dB. Right. Son of a gun. So I can sit there and work on vector okay. monitors with this stuff. Yes. Yeah. You can take these two inputs and put them right on the line voltage. Right. The switch is getting out. It's yeah. pretty clean. Well, I'll probably be back. I bought one off the internet, and the buttons are stuck, and one of these plug outs, the knobs are busted. Well, these yeah. are from the <clears throat> 70s and 80s. So yes. I remember. Well, I, I tell you, you should I, push all of these in. I'm lusting after this because I used one in grad school. I mean, and they, the electronics department had one. It was, what was it, 25 grand for that thing. It was, oh, yeah. You had to, like, sign your life away to borrow it. Anyway. And it's, uh, it was like $5,000 a year for the maintenance contract. Anyway. Keep it calibrated. All right, you, are you here every month? Usually. I'll be okay. here next month. Okay. I've paid for two months this time, so All right, usually right here. Okay, thank you. Your name was? John. John, it takes me three times to remember, but maybe yeah. I'll do better. <laughs> These are nice. I'll still be here anyway. See, okay, these simple you. amplifiers, all they need is power. So the you want to take the output fewer, and fewer people put it right place. into another piece of equipment. It's like a ghost down. You get the one meg input, well, and it will drop you know, a 50 on my microwave probably is device. It underscores so you use this for an input amplifier, like to it. Um, these little modular spectrum analyzers are an SDR. Working, so I thought, well, I'll get it fixed. Because these are, these are uh, multi-hundred megahertz amplifiers. So lasted six weeks. Just have to and know how to... How to so I took it apart and figured out what was wrong. With bad connections. Get them calibrated because they drift. But uh, you don't need any special equipment to years. calibrate these. Just, you know just get the, the DC is, lined up on, from input to the output. Dollars. But was it really worth it fixing it? But uh, I think all it is That's plus and minus 24 nowadays. volts or something well, also, like that. The, the newer stuff you can get, last as long, you can get so plus and like minus 24 volt swing out of it. Right. I got a, uh, my heating air The problem is that some of the stuff we're using is plus and minus 36 volts. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. I don't remember the actual voltage. But I got a heating air conditioning guy next door to me. Yeah. He says, yeah, well, the short wave guys, this is the thing that they want, this guy right here. I've had this thing since, you know, 80. Four or something, oh. because they don't last like that anymore. So yeah, you can get one. You're it's lucky the time bases that are difficult to so calibrate. Right. You have to have the scope to do that. If you can. Let's see. Of course, working at Tektronics, I had the extenders. They don't make them last. They want you to. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Every five years. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. I understand. Try to scope pull it out. Yeah. Got it. Put it back in there. Does it work now? Yeah. 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 And of course, all the original tested components to to uh, fix them. See what, what wears out on these are these these push buttons, these things right here. That's they're troublesome. Yeah. Oh boy. It's very attractive. <laughs> you should buy one. You should buy them all. <laughs> Two hundred. Wow. So I came up with a list of them. You can sit there and fill it. Go to testequipmentvalue.com. Yeah, yeah. Need the one gigahertz amplifier. That's what I'm looking for. That's all alphanumeric. Everything. You have a card? I gave them all out. Oh boy. So I have one of these new spectrum analyzers. It's just a, a, a little brick about this big. But it needs a good amplifier. One of these would would uh, work just fine. One card left. Oh, thank you. But just go testequipvalue.com and then you can yeah. go to the site. Okay. Yeah. And I can always Google. I might be doing an auction. I'm actually considering getting rid of all my old 7,000 series scopes, 5,000 series scopes, and the plug-in. So maybe in September they're going to do an auction out in the valley. What someone should do is make a a, uh, a drawer box for them so you could just plug it into something else. Because 
it, this analog stuff doesn't go obsolete. It's the scope itself, the mainframe, that goes obsolete. The drawers are fine. Yeah, there's still a call for those 7603s. Uh, a lot of the military uh, defense contractors still use them. I can't sell the other stuff, the storage ones, you know, the 7613, right, right. And, and you, The reason why is that the, the CRTs are impossible to, to replace. So uh, those are those are tough to yeah. stock anymore. Maybe I'll hold on to the... I've got, some, I've got one, I'm not sure if it's an 03 or 13 or whatever, it's got an OS number. 250 or 260. I can't find uh, any, you know, I can't find a civilian number on it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's a military scope. Right. In fact, it's got two different military plates with slightly different numbers. Can't find out which. 80. Okay, hey, we'll fire it up if you want. That's okay. Your website, right? That's it. Okay, cool. Thanks. Just hit the PDF file and you can scroll through everything. I'll check out the website. That's, a, that's yeah. aluminum. 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 aluminum, thank you. Those are oils. These are good for polishing, but this is not the aluminum oxide. This is a little grainier. You want yeah. the smooth stuff? You feel that. It's like really the stuff that doesn't... Uh, it might be aluminum oxide, but this it's really is, grainy. This is beryllium. Is it, oh, is it beryllium? Okay. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Beryllium oxide? It's, it's, it's like beryllium, uh, beryllium oxide. sand. It's been pressed. It's a different, it's a safe version of beryllium. Right? Right here, Maybe not. I hope, oh, geez, if these are poisonous, man. Yeah, it could be. Don't use them around your children. <laughs> this is for making jewelry. Yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Anytime you're you're working around metals and yeah. grinding them, you should always work in a, a, a vented hood with a mask. And gloves, too. Yeah, because uh, you'll fingers. get it in your, in your blood. Don't eat it. No, exactly. Because you know when you put your fingers in your mouth, you get that dust in your brain damage. Yeah. Exactly. The, the, the women used to paint the watches years and years ago with the radium. With yeah, radium. they would lick it. Ah, oh. that's a good one. They died. Oh. A lot of them died from that. Are you serious? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. Years ago, was it sixties? Uh, uh, was it what year was thyroid that? Thyroid cancer. Thyroid cancer? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Radiated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. radiated. Something else. It goes right to your thyroid, thyroid cancer too. Is soy. I forgot my candy yeah. bar is going to be melted by the time we get back. Yeah. I'm Those starting to get sunburned. Put it in a cooler box. Well, I'll have to throw it in the refrigerator, but it might be just gone. That'll be nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's the refrigerator gonna be a, will be great. It's going to be a puddle. It'll we're, be great in the refrigerator. We're from Santa Maria. It doesn't get this hot there. Yeah. Yeah, Although Santa Maria I, doesn't? I, I meant to grab it before we left, It didn't get over 74. I I'd be lucky great. if it didn't melt completely into a puddle when we get back. Oh, wow. right. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Yeah, don't eat soy either. It'll screw you up. Try oh, yeah. thyroid cancer. I don't. I don't eat that. It's garbage. Yeah, they know they know that uh, estrogen-based plant materials oh, yeah, screw of course. up farm animals. They know yeah. it for 50 years. Of course. Why are people eating it? Yeah. The Japanese have the highest thyroid cancer rate in the world, but they're very healthy. They also have the largest uh, century-old population. Where can I know what you were looking for? He has thousands of them. He says thousands. Did you get his info so you can call him later? Yeah, he okay. gave me his card. If our healthcare system. It's killing people here anyway. So if it doesn't change and they don't, they don't start telling people how to eat right, like lay off the sugar. If you don't lay off the sugar. They know sugar is linked to cancer. 
Cancer loves sugar. Love that cancer also that makes, sugar makes you acidic. Cancer loves acidity in your body chemistry. If your body chemistry leans towards acid all the time, they know it's the precursor to all disease. And yet they sell aisles and aisles of that shit in the store. And I said, you know, now in Mexico, they have NAFTA go down there. People are drinking Cokes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, yeah. It's the choice they make. Yeah. Destroys your kidneys. Things. Exactly. And people are, are dying of diabetes at 40 yeah. and 50 years old. That they aspartame stuff? Well, oh, aspartame is even worse. It's just, it's just wrecks As your kidneys. I, I think diet soda should be removed. Yes. Yeah. It's, anything it's terrible. that says diet on it. And it's right. addictive. If you're on a diet, you shouldn't be eating it in the first place. You have to keep drinking it to get it right. to keep from get getting it. a terrible headache. Well, here's the thing. What happens with aspartame breaks down into uh, into uh, formaldehyde, formic <laughs> acid, which is an ant stain, and yeah. methyl chloride it's in a, your body. It's an inflammatory. The yes, yeah. crosses yeah. the blood brain barrier. Yeah, I understand it's that. Absolutely. I can't stand it. It makes me sick. I, I, Unbelievable. I don't even know what to smell I, before it. Before I found out about it, it I, I, I tried one and looked. And then I got stomach sick after. It's just horrible. Stuff. Airline pilots were drinking those things. They had disorientation. They oh, lost yeah. their licenses. Yeah. They said it doesn't matter what you were doing. You, you know, they didn't care if it was a soda or not. I go, man. I right. well, I'm gonna head down this way. Okay. I haven't, I haven't gone this way yet. So. You guys have a great day. I yeah. Got chocolate on my hand. The uh, <laughs> the, th the thing is, what the uh, uh, go ahead. The what is it? The National Health. Oh, it's yeah. a place in, in Atlanta, the... Uh, oh, CDC. Yeah. Uh-huh. One in every five white men has hepatitis C in this country. Well... One in five. And 20% of those who are infected don't know it. A lot of it comes from multiple sexual weirdo partners. Well, it's... It's all that stuff, too. It's it's all the incarceration. You get it incarceration in too. Yes, yes, yes. It's yes. a vector for all That's of this shit. That's a huge, huge one too. It's really awful. Also, too, uh, of the of the promiscuousness also contributes to things like the male and female cancers. It it contributes to it, but the thing for women is too much estrogen, overload of estrogen, and for men. Prostate cancer, now my PSA is always 0.3. <laughs> and you know what? I eat all the right fats. I eat lots of fats. I do too. Avocados. Look at, look at. Yeah, I'm 67. Are you? Yeah. You're two years younger than my wife. I'm 59. My wife's 10 years older than I am. But you know, I'm 67, you're doing good. I'm staying at 190, but I need to lose another 15 pounds. Eat more fat. Get the Kerrygold butter if you haven't already. Kerrygold butter. It's so good you can just slice it and eat well, it. My solution is riding the bicycle. Bicycle's good, but also remember fat is used, used for energy, right? So yes. I, I eat, avocado oil is wonderful, wonderful stuff. I Cook make these it. rice dinners and I mm. eat that before I go and exercise. I think it works. The rice, white it rice? Does. The brown rice. No, right? no, brown rice. Right. If it works for you and your blood sugar is good, yeah. check it. Yeah, I don't have yeah. yeah. That's good. But also don't forget your vegetables. Everything oh, yeah. works together and your good proteins. You like fish? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't eat that much, but I do like it. What's your favorite protein? I like cod. Oh, I love cod. But as far as beef, do you like beef at all? No, I don't eat red meat. None at all? None. You don't tolerate it well? I just don't want it. Are you an A-blood type? Uh, yeah. That's why. Yeah. My sister's an A-blood type. She cannot eat beef. She can't eat it. They don't make, and I read somewhere they don't make enough stomach acid. Oh, when I, right. I, I have a problem with stomach acid. They don't make I, enough. I, right. right. Your name. So, right. so, so, it, uh, so I, I, I'm the, in the five percentile group that, that I have what's called um, esophageal inflammation. Why? For not enough stomach acid. Right. So, that? what do I do? What I, well, what, it, what happens. Usually too much would do that. As, as you get older, um, the, the system that regulates the stomach acid oh, breaks dies. Down, breaks it down. just dies. Yeah. Then you get so, too much. so your stomach is just producing acid all the time. Oh. Instead of when you eat. I see. So uh, I, I was having, I was having, I thought I was having heart attacks. You thought I, you were having heart attacks? Yeah. I went to the hospital. You know. Stomach acid. They did the whole series on me. You know, eight thousand dollars later. Of course. Oh, you can't find anything wrong. Your heart. You yeah, have the heart of a 20-year-old. Oh, thanks. That's great. Yeah. I was having palpitations and fluttering. Okay, 
Yeah, my boss. The, the uh, acid was inflaming the uh, vagus nerve, uh -huh. and my heart was, was freaking out. Wow. So, what solved it? Probiotics. Yeah. I started taking one of those at every meal. Yeah. No more problems. My, my sister, my sister has has issues with with the she can't eat peppers either. Well, there was a time where I could just I could eat any hot foods or anything, and you know any kind when of this problem stuff. Yeah. Well, I I, I, I do yeah. I eat the salsa and the uh -huh. and the black pepper. It doesn't bother. Amazing. Yeah. Well, keep it up because you know what they say. They say the fastest growing age group, it's supposed to be in this country, I hope it is, is 100 and above. By the time I reach 100, it should be 100,000 of them. So how's Social Security going to pay for that? Oh, right, right. And then you got $10 an hour jobs, $15 an hour jobs. You, you need six you young people just to pay the bills. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you can't do it. And so the, the high paying jobs have to come back. But there are high paying jobs out there. It's just that industry's got to we got to get out of this effing China mode. we got to get out of it. Because what's happening, we're making them well, rich, if you and then we're giving garbage here. If you take the United States and you turn it over and look on the back, it says made in China. <laughs> that's sad. That's, that's a good joke, but it's sad. Because it's sad. Well, there's five of those little guys working for every one of us. Yeah, and they, they, they actually live in dorms right there in the factory. It's industrial yeah. labor camp. Yes, it is. The whole place. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. And some it's between, I heard it's between 50 cents a day or something like that, or a dollar a day. Well, that's okay if Our your money. rent is $5 a month. Right, exactly. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Exactly. I, I uh, but there are all those big condos they. I used to host. I horrible. used to host uh, exchange teachers from China. They would come here to learn English, and our people would go there. To, that's a five thousand. It's ancient and it's no good. I bet. Thank I you. Work, I was a tech, I worked for Tectronics. No, you I did? Prepared these. I, I bought one. Hey, this this is a storage device. Fix, you, gotta, you worked for Tectronics? So yeah. Please, I, I did. A question. Long time ago. What do you know about the TDS 460? You just throw them away? The, uh, time domain. TDS 460 scope. It's, it's got. Oh, know, the 460. No, no. No. Anything made in the 70s is useless. No, it's not. They're made in the 80s and 90s, or 90s, I think. Was the 460? 460, I thought. I thought that was at 70s. We're talking 475, you're thinking, or the 465. Yeah, TDS. Yeah, the 465. Yeah. Right. That's all junk. Huh? Well, you can't you can't repair them. Because you can't get parts. Well, it's the CRT. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That. You can't replace so it. The CRT is good, then. Oh yeah. Well, they're not going to be good after all this time. They last a long time. <laughs> well, they wear out if you use it. If you use it. Yeah. Well, I don't know how much time on them. Well, so crazy. Then, it, then it's like a vintage car. I've never seen a bad CRT yet, but you know, I know what happens. There's a guy over here. He says he has thousands of uh, seven thousand drawers. Thousands of them. Seven thousand what? The, the seven thousand. This what, is five thousand. Yeah, the right. drawers. Oh, the yeah. plugins. Yeah. They're called drawers. They're called drawers? Yeah. Just the plug-in modules? Because that's what it is. It's a drawer. Yeah. It pulls out. Yeah. yeah. Thousands of them? Yeah, that, that's uh, what I did at Tektronix, was repair those. The little plug-ins like, like the... this place. Like the 7B92? I don't remember the number. Uh, 40 seven, years seven, ago. 7A13? Yeah. It was 45 years ago. Those are the ago. old ones, yeah, the really old ones. But yeah, but, uh, later uh, model plug-ins aren't so bad, Maybe. but um, I, have, I have the 7844 dual beam scope. Uh-huh. That yeah. sucker's It's amazing. rare. Yeah. I have one, but you know... The old, the old tube models were... Oh, I don't even bother with tube They were chunky. Oh. I don't bother with tube well, crafts. They're big That's yeah. all they are. It's about this deep. Yeah, about that wide. I heard some of them have power supplies on the bottom of the cart. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. even mess with that crap. They, they, they were very attractive to uh, uh, research labs because you could use dual time based. Exactly. Yeah. I've done it. I looked at a 50 nanosecond pulse, you know, just filled the screen up and I also looked at it just that wide. On the same screen, uh, different time bases, you know, and like it's just fun, fantastic. Well, now it's all digital. You don't even need that stuff. Well, real quick. Yeah. A lot of it. Yeah. They have a microphone thing over there. Yeah. No. 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 Is there a trash can around here? Yeah, there's one right there with that box. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. But anyway, um, I have some newer stuff too. I have the uh, 2795 uh, spectrum analyzers. Yeah. And then also I like four of those. And I have to fix. And then uh, also 
Oh, the TDS uh, 544, 644, and 784 scopes. Well, Digital. Now you can get these little bricks that are spectrum analyzer SDRs. And the software does everything. Right. You know, S meter, every, S parameters. All runs in the, the computer, whole thing. right? Yeah. It's all, you have, you have to have a good machine, a fast machine. Uh -huh. But it does everything. And you can have multiples. You can stack them. And That's awesome. you can attach tracking generators to them so you can use the energy from the tracking generator to make circuits. How much does this one of these cost, this software? Uh, you can get by for uh, the tracking generator and the spectrum analyzer <coughs> about four and a half gigahertz <coughs> uh, for less than $1,500. Really? But Who makes it? Uh, Signal or? Hound. Signal Hound. Oh, yeah. I've heard of them. I have this stuff. The, the problem is that uh, this spectrum analyzer needs an amplifier on it because it's 50 ohms. Oh boy. So this is why I was interested in the drawers. Broad amp, Since I, broad re I repaired those, I, knows what, I know what those do. Broad All you need, amplifier. Right. You just take the drawer, you put power on it, and right. you have a, a broadband analog amplifier. Exactly. I love it. 25 bucks he's selling those damn things. Broadband he says amplifiers. He, has, he says he has thousands of them. Thousands? Yes. He doesn't know what to do with them, though. Right. He says, I was just going to junk them. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I have Tell them to give them to you. We'll go, we'll go pick them all up. I have a bunch myself. You know, remember the uh, 7A13 com digital differential comparator? Yeah, that that was my specialty, calibrating those. <laughs> oh, those things are something. <laughs> well, I got a bunch of those. These people right here would send them to me. I really? worked in Irvine. Okay. Really? They would... They would... Oh. They so would... Uh, get a hold of us. We're... we're Oh, okay. They would artists, ask for me. And yeah. They would ask for me by, it, by the way. I can see. Mm -hmm. They would nice, ask for me nice. by name. Uh huh. Because they were they were making uh, satellites. Okay. And uh, that amplifier, the differential amplifier, does shit that nothing else does. Oh yeah. Super secret stuff <laughs> that, that they won't tell us. But they would send me these amplifiers. Talking about the seven eight thirteen. The differential amplifier. Yeah. I got a lot of those. I'm gonna analyze them. Analyze the analyze. DC <laughs> to 20 megahertz, with 1 dB flat. That's they're they're super. And what I, I would it. do. I love it. What I would do is they would send them to me and they were completely burned out. They, Why? Because they put high voltage RF. Oh, on those them. morons. They used it to. Morons. They used it to, uh, to to balance the amplifiers. Yeah, I guess so. It goes into satellites. High voltage RF, huh? Yeah, the modulators. They put the, like 10,000 watts in there. Real quick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run to the car real quick <laughs> and then come back. Okay. So you're going to be right here? This area right here? Just yeah, right well, here. we have cells, so we can... Yeah. A couple hundred watts won't hurt, huh? Well, what it does is that it, it rejects common mode voltage. Yeah. Right. So you can you can calibrate differential amplifiers. And that's, you know, a satellite has a... They have uh, dishes. Right. You know, and, right. and they're push-pull they're push amplifiers. Right. So, so that's what they would use to calibrate them. Oh, yeah. So with, uh, 20 megahertz is, is what you would use for the transponder. That's what they were using them for. So 20, use 20 megahertz modulation of the frequency. 20 megahertz bandwidth. Bandwidth. At for, what for a transponder. At what frequency, though? Well, they're modulating, you know, gigahertz finals. Right. But it's that's the modulator that has to be calibrated. That's okay. There you go. That's what I wanted to know. So they'd, they'd send them to me. They burned out. The, the damn things are full of silver mica capacitors. Yeah. And they would well. short them all out. You short the capacitors out? Yeah, because the high that voltage high would go right through, up, right through, right all the way through. So what level of RF they putting in there? I don't know. It was high. It was it's super probably high, high energy. It was energy. probably DC voltage. Okay. That, that it's got to be super high to burn those out. Well, They're typically five. They would volts. send them to me by name and put it on my shelf. And Man. I could I could get them I could get them I could get it calibrated I could get 50 megahertz out of them. <laughs> they loved me. 50 megahertz out, and you tweaked them, huh? You tweaked them. People in Europe, they all talk to each other, all these satellite guys. Now, this is in the 70s. Right. This was TRW. Right. right. That building right there used to have TRW. Well, let, me, let me ask you a question. question. I have a 3335 at home, which is a nice Ruby level signal generator. And, uh, and if I take a 7, 7A13 and I wanted to tweak it to 50 megahertz, the, the secret is the capacitors, matching the capacitors. And the differential stage? 
Yeah, you have where, to have a sweep generator. Because it's all differential throughout. Right. You got to match them all. They have to be matched. Okay. I mean, like like 0.1 percent. Okay. I have it a doesn't LCR. matter if the values are high or low. It's just it the values if they're both the same. Right. That's right. 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 I have an LCR bridge, so an HP one. But you have to have a sweep generator to, to calibrate that that amplifier. Up, up to uh, 20 right. megahertz. I have. I can sweep it. Yeah. I should be able to sweep it with, I think the 3335 will sweep so, it, yeah. That goes to 80 meg. You have to have the service manual, too. <laughs> For the uh, generator? For the amplifier. The amplifier. Because it's really complicated. The 7A13. I have a service manual for it, I think. I like it. I like complicated RF it, stuff. I mean, not RF, but transistor stuff. I love transistor uh, stuff. Ham radio people, I love if they transistor. knew what that thing was, they would, they would be gold. But People do they, don't know what those things are. Do they use current feedback? No. No, it's a straight analog right. a, uh, instrumentation amplifier. Okay. High, but it's high impedance. High impedance. And high, wide bandwidth. Uh huh. Really hard to get. High impedance, wide bandwidth is hard to get. That's yeah. Hard. With transistors. Yeah. They use a FET input stage, right? No. They don't even no. use a FET input no, stage? No, it's all, it's all uh, high so power. So, in order to get... In order to get high input impedance with a bipolar, you got to run low bias currents. Everything, yeah, the whole and, and bias uh, currents are low, right? It, it's uh, fairly low. It's uh, Darlington stacks. Is it really? Yeah, they're all stacked. That's oh, the yeah. way they get the gains. So you can get, you can get like. Uh, but using high FT transistors, doing it right. You can get uh, correct. Like plus and minus 36 volts on the output. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has super gain. So now these these darling these Darlington configurations they set up they're just using basically high gain signal and, and wide bandwidth signal. They're single adding, yeah. Transistors. It's all it super themselves. low noise. Well, it's shown on the schematic, right? Or is it just in the yeah. hybrids? Yeah. So there's no hybrids. No, no, in no. It. It's, it's all, all discrete. discrete. I yeah. love it. I love yeah. it. I love it. Yeah. See, with me, my, my my philosophy is if you want to really learn how to design stuff, look at how stuff is designed. You know. Yeah. Well, the, the people that's at Tektronics what Jim are the masters. Did. Jim Williams did it. The great thing was. I, uh, at my, on my bench, I have a telephone right there. I pick it up and it would ring in the engineer's office at Beaverton. Yeah. So when nice. that phone rang, they would talk to me. I'd say, hey, nice. I'm having trouble. I don't know. This yeah. is, this is 1977. He was there. He's, he's one of the designers. The guys, that, he talks about the designs that they use, like the, like the frequency doubler, actually FT doubler. I said, oh my gosh, all this kind of stuff they were talking about, and the different guys that designed it. And he goes over even all the design criteria. His book's like 75 bucks, you know, and I looked at it and I got it. Analog uh, circuit design. Those guys, it's awesome they, stuff. Were, they were, I love it. they were brilliant. I tell you, man, there's nothing like good analog design. It, and you can't, there's no substitute for it. There isn't, no, there isn't. So, and, so th this is why I was freaking out about this guy. He had boxes and boxes of damn things sitting there. I went, oh. Well, I've, I've already done some stuff myself, just, just uh, the things that I know about transistors. And I've seen rise times of 8 nanoseconds in, in oh, yeah. 40 volts. The stuff now... 40 volts. Uh, these uh, insulated gate bipolar transistors? Yeah, they, IGBTs. They just blow the shit out of everything. Well, IGBTs... It's it's kind of like you got a large power. you got a yeah. large gate capacitance, and in order to uh, to do it in, in, in small signal stuff, you would never use it for well, power stuff. Yes, they used to use therm thyristors for dimmer circuits. Now they use IGBTs. Well, actually, they're using triax, but IGBTs they use in the wall warts. You know, the ones you plug in the wall for, for those make those the switchers. The switchers. That's yeah. what they use an IGBT for. Well, right? all the electric cars. That's what. And right. Uh, I worked in uh, there's, uh, General Motors. We did that. There's a, <laughs> a uh, grid-tied inverter sitting over there. That's what's in those. You have to have the IGBTs. And but, they use them in huge UPSs, too. Megawatt UPSs yeah, and all that stuff. Well, the, the thing about it is, the reason why they make dimmer circuits, light uh -huh. controls, is because the thyristor would wait for the voltage to go up to turn on. The IGBT waits until it goes down and it yeah. turns off. Right. So yeah. you get the rising edge from zero into the circuit, then it turns it off. Mm -hmm. So there's no RF interference. Zero volt switching. Yes. Zero volt switching. That, that's what made uh, no EMI. dimming 
uh, compact fluorescent and LED is possible. Because mm -hmm. the thyristor can't do it. Well, LEDs, they drive them with a variable constant current, though, right? That's all they do with those. They yes, also modulate it, too. Right. You have but, to have the IGBT to do that. I'm talking yeah, about high power stuff. Well, you know, high power, right, high power. But typically with the low, low, uh, low voltage, high current stuff, still FETs. But uh, we worked in... Uh, well, worked, IGBT is a kind of FET. It's an insulated gate bipolar transistor. Yeah. It has the character, on characteristics of a, of a bipolar. Uh-huh. Because, you know, like the voltage drop across, it goes up with current. Because of R, R on, right? Uh -huh. RDS on. And then with the IGBT, it's fairly constant with current. Yeah. Well, we, what made it possible to, was large architecture. Yeah. It, where I used to work, we used to make, they used to make modules that were 700 amp IGBT oh, modules. Yeah. I got a bunch of those suckers. They, 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 I, I mean, they're like this big. I used to throw away SCRs. Like I, that, I, yeah. I worked at Emerson. Yeah, you know SCRs are? are power control. Yeah, go ahead, Emerson, yeah. Yeah, I'm elevators. Uh-huh. Yeah, conveyor belts, mining yeah. equipment. SCRs, right? And motor controllers. SCRs this big around. Uh, hockey puck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to work on that shit. They still use that, don't they? For, uh, what was it? Um, 2,400 volts. Uh, Super incredible. 2,400 volts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 800 amps. 2,400 volts. Whoa. I have some hockey puck. Deadly, deadly stuff. This big around that came out yeah. of the motor drive. It was 500 volt, 300 amp. And they're like this big around. They had these big old things that clamp them down and everything. You know? I quit. It scares the shit out of me. Yeah, how long was I that? Yeah. You know, I was afraid I was going to touch something. You know? At work, they used to have 24 car batteries hooked in series. And... Uh, 24, 27 of them, and the engineers always worked with one hand behind their back. They were oh, yeah. terrified of that. Yeah, I was, I was scared. In that it place. was just absolutely. I was the only. And, and when I turned the stuff on, everyone would leave. Yep. They were terrified and of a it. A big room like this with uh, the motor controllers in it. Uh huh. And uh, I turned that show. You know what we did one time? We built we built a boost converter. You want to hear something? Oh, shit. You know what we did? Big one. <laughs> this one. This one was 100 kilograms. And we put, it's what it was rated. And what they wanted was they wanted to, we didn't have the power supply for the input. So we had to use the SCR power supply for the dyne. Oh. Listen to this. Max get 120 out, but we would get 500 amps, right? It, we needed 800 amps to test this thing. So the output of our converter, four phases, they broke it down into four phases with IGBTs, it's running at 16 kilohertz, four phases, you know, 90 degrees, uh, no, Nah, break it down. Nah, yeah, yeah, 90 degrees apart. And we would get out of that thing 300 volts at 300 amps. Just within, just, just the boost converter. The freaking inductors were like this. We made them there. We were making giant Tesla coils or something. <laughs> no, what it was, it was a boost converter because the, the company needed, um, they needed high voltage to do all their motor testing. From batteries. But, well, actually from fuel cells. Oh, I get it. Fuel cells, a piece yeah. of shit. It's not good for production. Well, no. Well, here's it's, the thing. It's, uh, it's a joke. It's what they call clean energy. It's, it's not clean at all. Half, half, 0.6 volt at 800 amps per cell. What's the point? You know, and they have well, to run. How many equipment cells you got to use? Yeah, and then yeah. every one has to be monitored. Every one of them has to be monitored. You have to have a microcontroller and every one. All that stuff. And all this complexity, right? And it took them freaking years to figure that out, to abandon it. So it's not practical for production. What's wrong with you morons? So that's what they did. And you should have seen all the beautiful stainless steel freaking turbo fans and all this junk because the fuel cell has to be wet and they have to it has to come up. They have a fan that starts up 30,000 RPM to blow the freaking air in there and, and to keep the membrane uh, damp. And you, you've got to have the, the current density to get everything going and all this kind of crap. Was there arcing or something? No, no arcing problems. It was just keeping moisture. The moisture had to be correct, and also well, it's if, all if the Well, if one of them raised an impedance, it would get hot or something. Well, if the impedance goes up, it doesn't put it much out. So, and therefore, so it, blocks, it blocks all the stack. Well, what will happen is... It's a weakness. <laughs> what will happen is that the, the controller it looks, at, looks that at all that stuff, and eventually, if enough of them do that, it has to shut it down. So because it's unreliable. Nominal high voltage in an EV is 300 volt. Nominal for, for, for uh, American stuff. Nominal. We went as high as 400, as low as 250. And it's like that was the range of the batteries. We used Panasonic deep discharge lead acids for a while until they went to this fuel cell crap. 
and uh, yeah, it's crazy. It was nuts. It was, it was a waste of money. And uh, but we had jobs, so we didn't care. So, but the thing is, like you say, fuel cells. It's, it's not no, practical it's not. for no. production. No, it's, it's for not. spacecraft, man. You know, it's supposed well, to last yeah, two weeks. Well, yeah, it might be good. Uh, you know, if you're trying to generate electricity from from some water you're digging up on the moon. Oh my gosh, it's nuts. But those, those, hey, those 700 amp because modules. Because there's no moving parts. Those 700 amp modules I got, I want to make a nice UPS. An interruptible power supply. But you know what we did? Here's what happened. You would get a sine wave out because the gate capacitance with the input resistor and the PWM would make the sine wave. <laughs> That's how you get yeah, it. Yeah. Well, a sine a wave tuned, out. Yeah. Yeah. A, a resonant, a resonant well, circuit. It would be an L, be a, be an RC roll-off, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Integrated that's, that's how the um, Integrated. That's how the grid-tied inverter yeah. works. That had a 2,000 watt sitting over there. 2,001. I studied that technology because it's, awesome stuff. it's, it's like, um, it's almost proprietary. Yeah. The, uh, what you're doing is you're taking low voltage DC and boosting it, uh -huh. you're taking that and injecting it into the main, uh -huh. pulses into the main, uh -huh. synchronized with the sine wave. Okay. Yeah. And so you have to have multiple microprocessors to to detect the current and when to spike and when not to and all this stuff. Right. And uh, it causes problems. There. I actually wrote a white paper on this. Did you really? Um, I actually experienced a problem. The, the problem that I predicted, that the electric company in my neighborhood came and said, oh, we have to change over or something. I said, well, okay, fine. So I had to turn the power off for several. You know, they, they said it was only going to be off for a few minutes. Well, it was off for four and a half hours because people in the neighborhood have solar panels and the grid tied inverters aren't smart. So they're trying to, to inject power into the system. And, the, and so everything in the, in the neighborhood was going, rear, 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 clank, clank, clank. The, my TV kept going, clack, 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 clack. Is it clack. over voltaging the line? No, the, the grid tied inverters are trying to find the 60 hertz and it, oh, it kept injecting. Trying to, trying to synchronize yeah. yeah. So the, the problem, grid tied inverters need to be smart. Yeah, they do. So the electric company, the line they can tell from some some node somewhere to turn them off. Right. Because what happens is if there's if there's a grid tied inverter on a on a line, they they turn the, the the feed from the generator off. But these things are injecting power into them, and they electrocutes the lineman. Because the, the you can't tell when the when the 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 homeowner says, "Oh, there's something wrong." I want Switch it back on, you know. I've, oh my God! Yeah, so it electrocutes the linemen because the linemen are before these inverters started coming online. You know, you, you cut you cut off the the uh, the see the transformer down there. Yeah. You know, you pull that that uh, breaker on that, and you think, well, it's dead. You know, but some some guy hooked to that transformer has an inverter on there and he's pushing power back into the transformer. Oh, you I see. see. Voltage will go up. Yeah, so, so there's high voltage on the output. So the transformer Insane. works and works backward. Instead of it transforming down, it's going back up. So wow. this is a problem with the grid tied inverters. They need to be smart. The, yeah. uh, the, the electric stuff. company has to be able to turn them off. No, you know, a kill, a kill command. Yeah, you have to... You have to have some more intelligence there. A little fuzzy logic sounds like that would help. That, and all this talk about the smart grid, it's all bullshit. It is. It's a marketing scheme. It's marketing, right. What was your name? Jay Salzberg. Jay. Mine's Norm Young. Oh, no. Pleased to meet you. Uh, Steve gave, gave uh, me a card. Gave you a card, yeah. Right. Yeah. You guys live where? In Santa Maria? Santa Maria, yeah. We drove down here place, this morning. Man. I yeah. love to fish. So yeah, great fishing. I, up there, I just don't moved you? there in May, so I don't know much about it. What do you work for? Yourself? I'm retired. Oh, that's right. Sixty seven. Yeah. I'm retired too, I'm fifty nine. I'm basically retired, but I'm looking to get something started. Maybe down here in this area, you know, find a little niche niche market. Well, uh he want he wants to move to Burbank. 
And uh, that's so freaking I said, smoggy. I know, but that's where the uh, art is. It's the. Uh, that's right. It's the cesspool of art. That's what yes, it is. I call it. Is, uh, all the stuff flows into there, and then yeah. they, they they mix it around and they sell it to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you guys move down there, but. I'm going to have to get going because the sun is starting to get uh, to I'm me. I'm baking, yeah. I'm baking. Hey, Anyways, a pleasure burn. chatting with you. Thank you yeah. for telling me about the Thanks. 7A13s. Yeah, yeah, they're and special. I'm going to be looking into that real careful because... Um, but uh, if you don't want super high performance out of it, it's probably good the way it is. Right. But they're an amazing thing for way, the, the stuff you can do with it. I, I remember messing yeah. around with them. Ba I said, uh, for balancing uh, yes. uh, finals. Yeah, balancing differential amplifiers, all that stuff, right? Can do it with, do with well, it, it's for it's it's for measuring small and, uh, offsets uh, and stuff. offset voltages that are on a common mode voltage. Yeah, that's what they're for. Yeah. Which yeah. are finals. That's what they because yeah, yeah, yeah. a final will have a common R mode DC on it. R RF, right? So yeah, RF finals. Okay. Yeah, stuff like that. Right. The short wave people. Just, sure, sure. If they knew that those things would do that, they would they scoop them up. Yeah, but for vacuum tube, it's kind of almost like beating a dead horse because the thing will drift out of spec. As accurate as that thing is, the vacuum tubes will just drift, 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 you know, right. and heat them up. So you can balance them to a point, right? But yeah. for nice solid state stuff, oh boy. Well, Steve uh, brought me down here because he used to work here. He used to work in the building across the way over there. Right. This, this, this is a big campus. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna have to get going. Okay. But uh, have a great one, okay? Thanks. Thank you.